Well, yesterday, the Montrose County Sheriff's Office made an arrest in connection to the disappearance of Dale Williams. I drove to Natarita and Nucla to get the reactions from the community. It's a long process. It's been an investigation for 25 years between CBI, Montrose County Sheriff's Office, and other agencies. Dale Williams went missing 25 years ago with no leads after finding his truck at the junction of Dolores and San Miguel River, 30 minutes north of Natarita. I was only 14 at the time, and there was a lot of confusion in the community. There were different rumors that saying that he had just up and left without saying anything. 68-year-old James Daniel Bishop is now in custody and has been charged with first-degree murder. It's still going through the court process. Obviously, we just have an arrest at this time. So, The Colorado Bureau of Investigation said during the course of a joint investigation, they found Williams and his wife helping Bishop's wife to leave him and resettle in Texas. According to the affidavit, this made Bishop resentful towards Williams in the months leading to his disappearance, going so far to tear down posters put up after Williams was reported missing. Well, when he went missing, there was a ton of speculation and hearsay and, of course, the rumor mill because we live in a small town. Uh, but I always thought it was a tragedy, but we, I, we've all been waiting to find out who did it and for them for that to be solved. I spoke to community members down in Natarita, and the locals tell me that Dale was a very family-friendly person, a man that no one really bats an eye to, and a guy beloved by the community. He, I was friends with his niece and I went to school with his daughters. They were a year or two older than me, but I did know him. He played Santa Claus. Investigators are still looking for Williams' remains, but locals remain optimistic about the arrest. I think it's fantastic that we're finally going to be able to close this case up. Dale's children have really suffered and put up with a lot. Law officials say that Bishop's money bond is $1 million cash. For more information, you can find it on our website, westersouthnow.com.